when following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the Download Files option appears, you can download the example files. Hello, Reza is here. Welcome to another tutorial of Visual Components. In this lesson, we'll focus on how to create patterns of products, for example, in a palletizing task, without using the process modeling assembly. You can do this tutorial by using the Essentials version. And of course, some basic knowledge of process modeling is needed. To learn more about process modeling, visit our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com. In this template layout, for example, if I go to the layout templates folder and then open this assembly palletizing, you will see in the process tab, if I activate products, that there is a green product type, which is an assembly product type. That's the palletizing assembly product. Now I have opened this assembly editor area. There is the palette sheet, set of cylinders, the second sheet, and another set of cylinders. And obviously, when you want to build up this, you need to use the assembly statements. For right now, in this tutorial, I will try to teach you to use this transport pattern in and then make palletizing and depalletizing tasks so that you do the same process as here, but no need for the assembly. Let me go to starting point. Right now I have three products, pallet, a cylinder, and a sheet. And in process tab, if I activate my product types, there are three product types, pallet, plate, and a cylinder. I'm gonna call this plate from this point. Okay, let's go to eCatalog and then bring in a feeder and then a conveyor, double click on the conveyor. It automatically connects to the feeder because feeder was selected. So if I press play, there is some random product created, some cylinder but I'm gonna change this to a palette. Let's also increase the width of the cylinder to two times more, and then this one to two and a half meters. And I'm gonna put the creation of this every two minutes. Now I want to do the palletizing task, so let's go to bring in two feeders. And then one of them is feeder for cylinders. And the other one is feeder For the plate. Now what I need over here is a process node. That's where I want to do the loading part. Let me turn off the flow first to have access to the component. This will be the palletizing area. Then what I'm going to do is to go to the flow. And over here, first of all, I'll have a, let me check the process flow groups. So over here, I have two extra flow groups created because I imported the feeders. What I'm going to do is to clean up my workspace, right? You need to clean up your desk and everything around it. At least I need to do that. So I'm going to keep also here clean. Then let's go to process one because I'm in flow view over the label I'm right clicking and then it opens the executor I want to change this name to loading so now there is feeder plate to loading and then also let me
empty space and then what I'm gonna do is to create this link as well and then put this feeder sales under this feeder plate so now we have parts going from both feeders to the loading so transport in first in this loading process we want to bring in from conveyor the pallet the only part that comes from the conveyor is the pallet now the pallet stops on the edge let's click over here on the process node and make it to stop on origin okay then in the next step i will put a transport pattern in or basically two of this to transport in my products the first product is the plate the variable name would be plate this is something that i select you can put any other variable name and the important properties here are the offset pattern count and pattern step so you need to set up the offset as you see over here there is the plate if i go to move you see that the origin is in the middle and also for the palette is also in the middle and if I go back to this transfer pattern in for the plate, the offset can be 0, 0 transformation for X and Y. But the Z, it needs to have some transformation. So from here to here is like 144 millimeters. So the sheet needs to be placed 144 millimeters above the palette and the product that we accept in this statement is only the plate now if i press play well nothing is coming in because obviously i need to select that this feeder should produce plate and this feeder should produce cylinders let me press play now you see that the plate flies over there but obviously we are in this line because we are asking for if i click on the statement again we are asking for two plates in x two plates in y and then no extra layers and also there is pattern step every plate that is coming in there should be a pattern step but right now i just need one plate so i'm gonna make this one and one then the pattern step doesn't matter because we just import one plate and after that we go to the next which is importing the cylinders okay right now i'm gonna go to the cylinders and accept in this line only cylinders so that we get these four cylinders coming in so right now then there should come four cylinders yes and we are getting pattern count two cylinders in x2 then in y with this pattern step if i click on the cylinder over here you will see that the cylinder height is 200 and the radius is 100 so definitely the pattern step is go in x 200 then in y 200 and we just have one layer of the cylinder i'll put just one layer because we are learning over here i wouldn't make like many steps or many layers of cylinders then what is the pattern count how many cylinders we want to put there and what is the offset for the cylinder for the first one i'm gonna start from somewhere like this let me close this and make the palette view in the static side i'm gonna click on this cylinder make a pattern count so let's go to plus x direction and five cylinders that looks good apply and then i'm gonna go to 
plus y direction and three layer of cylinders apply this looks good to me what i need is this cylinders offset this is the first one coming in how do i get that offset let me attach it to the palette and then in the coordinate systems I go to the parent coordinate system because now the palette is the parent for this cylinder. So it's 427, minus 427 in X and minus 215 in Y. And then 194 in Z. Let me go to process tab. Then loading. Then I click over here. This is where I import the cylinders, product variable name, for example, seals, and then the offset, minus. And plus 194, because it should come 194 up. Then X value five in X, I will need three in Y. Now let's press play. Let's see how it works. Okay, the first cylinder came in, second one, third one. Let's increase the simulation speed. Okay, that looks beautiful, right? Now, in the very last step, it said that product's palette state within its flow sequence is lost. Here I imported product in, then the product in was basically the palette. I would prefer to name the product variable name palette. And here I send out the palette, but I'm sending it out to the conveyor. So to component container, which is the conveyor. Increase speed. Now transport out palette. It's not working. Right now I am importing two product types on the palette. One is the plate and then the cylinders. We need to also attach these components to the palette because attaching does not happen automatically. Let me put two attached statements. I just click this on this one and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V from my keyboard. You could also use this copy statement and paste. So attach the parent one is palette, the child is plate. Then in the next statement, again, palette is the parent, and then sales is the child. Transport out the palette. Let's try once more. Yes, so now as you see, we are doing the palette sizing task using the transport pattern in statement and also attach statement. Obviously, if you want to do this task using a robot or a human worker, you just need to bring in a human or robot and change these controllers to the right controller. Right now is interpolating transport, but then if you have other controllers there will be the extended list here and then you'll just select the robot controller or then the human controller controllers are under this folder over here here are the controllers please watch other process modeling tutorials to learn how to use transport controllers okay in the next tutorial i'll talk to you about how to do the depalletizing of this same layout so see you in the other tutorial take care and bye for now